Hello farmer. Welcome to Sira Farm where we'll teach you various sectors of agriculture, today we will discuss things you need to know before stocking fishes in your pond. Before stocking fish in your pond, there are several things you need to know to ensure the health and survival of the fish, before I start I want you to follow us on Facebook for the next video and if you have any questions. About this video the comment section is there and my WhatsApp number is attached to this video. Thank you farmers the first thing you need to look at is pond size, the size of your pond will determine the number and type of fish you can stock. A general rule of thumb is to stock no more than 1 inch of fish per 10 gallons of water. 2. Water quality, proper water quality is essential for fish. Survival. You should test your water regularly for pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels. Fish require a pH level between 6.5 and 9.0, and ammonia and nitrite levels should be at zero. Nitrate levels should be kept below 40 ppm. Three type of fish, different types of fish have different requirements for water temperature, pH, and oxygen levels. Make sure to choose fish that are compatible with your pond's water conditions. Get all information about fishery from hatchery to disease from disease to harvest. Inside the ebooks my phone number is there, you can contact me for help. The ebook is 800 Naira, pay using that link above once you pay the book will be sent to email automatically or text me on WhatsApp for manual payments. Let continue the video. 5 Feeding, Fish require a balanced diet to grow and thrive. Feed them a high quality fish food, and make sure not to overfeed, as excess food can lead to poor water quality. 6. Predator control, if you have predators such as birds, raccoons, or snakes in your area, you may need to take measures to protect your fish. This can include installing netting or using decoys to deter predators. 7. Acclimation, when introducing new fish to your pond, you should acclimate them slowly to prevent shock. Float the bag of fish in the pond for 20 to 30 minutes to allow the temperature to equalize, then gradually add small amounts of pond water to the bag over the course of an hour. 8. Disease prevention, fish can be susceptible to diseases, so it's important to maintain good water quality and monitor your fish for signs of illness. If you notice any issues, consult with a fish veterinarian or aquatic specialist. 9. Stocking rate overstocking your pond can lead to poor water quality and stunted growth of the fish be sure to follow recommended stocking rates for your pond size and fish species